Hi everybody! Today we are here in Townsend and they got a great bike trail here. Beautiful mountain views and, and everything else. You ready Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do Let's this. Do it. Our adventure today begins here in Townsend and just up the road there is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and we're right across the street from the KOA campground. Are you excited? Yes, want to get riding. <laughs> yeah so it's another beautiful evening here in Townsend here in the Great Smoky Mountains and we're gonna be doing, this is gonna be like at least 10 miles, at least 10 miles today. Uh, and the wind is picking up. Cool though. We're supposed to get 70 mile an hour winds tonight. And we're supposed to um, get some rain. Nightfall, yep. so we're gonna need to get <laughs> you just wanna, you just wanna ride that bike. Mm -hmm. Here comes Dawn. It's boosting. <laughs> and there she goes. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a beautiful ride along the mountains here. Of course, Townsend's a beautiful place here in the Smoky Mountains. The quiet side of the Smokies. Sundown Resort, a little campground RV park back there. And there's the Burger Master. We've uh, did a few reviews there. And yeah, they're closed today. Today is Tuesday. There's a lot of folks out riding their bikes. So I believe there's a tr there's a I believe there's a bike path on either side here. The Great Smoky Mountains Heritage Center. That's a real fun place to visit. They have some cabins here they've relocated. You can go in there and see what, what it was like to live in the Great Smoky Mountains. I definitely suggest visiting. And gather around, it says. Coming soon. I think it's another moonshine distillery. A lot of hills on this trail. This is where the um, e-bike e will come into play, going up and down a lot of these. And there's the Tally Ho. Yeah, redoing the rooms here at the Tally Ho. Looks like a nice little hotel. Well, getting far, gosh, I'm trying to make a video here. <laughs> That's the Carriage House Restaurant. Yeah, it's closed today. I like these three old time cottages up here on the hill. And that really cool hotel just over there. This one here is called the Townsend Gateway Inn. That's super clean. It's got Tennessee rockers up there to enjoy. A lot of cool little hotels, motels along the, the strip here. There's a Townsend Gateway Inn poolside. So there's a pool over there. Looks like they got a fire pit with some firewood. Here's the River Breeze. That's got a pool also. Brings back those vibes of Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge back in the day. That's 
the Cades Cove. That's the Jeep outpost over there. And they have Jeep events every so often. This is where they have the Bigfoot Festival and the Hot Air Balloon Festivals. So it's an all-purpose trail, hiking, running, and biking. Oh, Best Western, Cades Cove Inn. Now this looks like a fun place to stay. It's called the Highland Manor Inn. Oh, it's got a pool. And lots of nifty places to stay. Tremont Lodge and Resort. Tuckalichi Caverns, March the 1st through November the 30th. And the wind's really starting to pick up. This is called the Barn Event Center of the Smokies. And they've turned an old cantilever barn into a little event center up there. Really cool. And I got another little cantilever barn over there. The grass is so green. It's looking beautiful here in the Smokies. Yeah, stop, take a little, little break, and take in all the beautiful mountains. Another cute little cantilever barn there called the Dancing Bear Lodge. There's a little place called the Dancing Bean Coffee House. Good place to go get some, a good place to get a cup of joe. And there's the Apple Valley Cafe. It's open. And the general store, definitely worth a visit. Yeah, we're not hungry though, are we? No. Nah. We ate earlier. But definitely if you're out here riding a bike, I definitely suggest Apple Valley Cafe. There's also a lot of good restaurants out here in Townsend. We haven't had yet. We're trying. Yeah, and um, here on this bike trail. So there's a lot of eats along the way. Heck yeah. A lot of drinks and everything else. Such a beautiful evening. I like this trail. This has been my favorite trail so far. There's a lot of hills. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and you gotta be careful because sometimes you get going pretty fast down them and it can be dangerous. So this is definitely the d most dangerous uh, trail yet. I got a fudge shop, Apple Valley Cafe, and bench made. Cades Cove Cellars. Free tasting. You can get your, your drink on. And there's some bears. There's a little hotel 
out to the back there called Smoky Mountain Lodge. This here looks like an old gas station or an old diner out front. Yeah. So there's a couple of places along this trail where you, you can cross under the road so you don't have to worry about traffic. So this is like a big loop. You'll come down this side, you'll cross under, and then come up on this side here. That's called the Catfish Cabin. I bet you they got some good catfish over there. We're gonna come up here to a little covered bridge I got. There's also parking on this side. So you can park over, over yonder. A little, little covered bridge called the Townsend Sunshine Bridge. Yeah, it's a modern day bridge, but very cool. If it starts raining or something, you could hide out underneath here. You can ride your bike across it too. Oh, look at that, the mountains. so clear you can see all the way to the bottom. I really enjoyed my bike ride out here in Townsend today. It's just the most scenic, beautiful, mountainous, hilly, <laughs> ups and downs rise up the tunnels. So far this is definitely the most best bike riding path in the Smokies for sure. And a covered bridge. And a covered bridge. I'm guessing you're looking for something good to eat there, buddy. Yeah, you're he's a big boy, isn't he? Or a big girl. One or the other. So we're halfway through and we went four miles. So it's gotta be about eight miles round trip. That's a pretty good, pretty good little bike ride. I've got a total of 26 miles on the bike. We went four miles and I still have a, a full bar of energy. This looks like a really fun place to come hang out during the summer months. We're off the edge of the road here. It's a, it's a swing. It's a little swimming hole here. Hey, you can climb up there and, and swing off like Tarzan. <laughs> wow. It's gotta be pretty deep. It looks deep. I don't know if it's that deep though. Oh, and there's some there's some cows over there. Yeah, there's a cow over there. Looks like he's getting something good to eat. Both sides of the trail have these placards talking about the history in the area. And this is a handicapped park only for handicapped picnicking that is really cool I've never never seen that before there are seating areas for folks that are handicapped and the grills are at wheelchair height yeah it's a park dedicated for folks that have ADA 
accessibility issues. Special People's Park, handicap picnicking, a community project. Hmm, April 20th, 1991. Picnic ramp dock areas for handicap visitors and their immediate families only. Townsend City Ordinance prohibits use by others. Well, we're not gonna be using it. We just wanna kind of show everybody out there. Oh yeah, there's an ADA accessible dock down there you can fish from. That is pretty cool, Don. There's a park here for just handicapped folks. Boy, neat. Yeah, that way, you know, they have a place too. And then they have a regular one over there for for folks that are not. So there's plenty of different choices. Well, let's head on down the trail. <laughs> it's not coffee. Gathering place. Riverside Tavern and, and Grills. There's a submarine over here, Don. <laughs> a submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. It is like yellow, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. <laughs> yeah. We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Another cantilever barn over there. Looks like it's got an old Bronco. Yeah, I think that's an old Bronco or something in there. There's a town where I was born who lived the man who sailed the sea and he lived beneath the waves in a yeller submarine. Whoa! Looks like an old ice cream stand or some kind of business. Takalichi Village. Cabins on the river. Screen porches, AC, pool, and cable television. Love that old sign. That's yeah, an old A-frame. Looks like a little ice cream stand. Order here, pay here. Maybe an old barbecue joint. That's cool. Oh, there's a cute little garden down there. There's a scarecrow and I think you can walk it. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I think that's a walking path you can take. Look at all the different flowers and stuff. I don't see a sign saying they allow bikes down there. We might have to come back one day and walk down there yeah. and see what that's all about. Can you walk or bike? Yeah. Okay, so on the other end here, this is a river walk. It's uh, by the Tucka Leachy Garden Club. Wow, that's that's cool. We're gonna have to come back one day without the bikes. A beautiful church over there. So this is a little river pub and deli. We got cold brews and I'm guessing deli sandwiches. Smoky Mountain Jeeps. You can actually buy a Jeep. Oh yeah, these Jeeps are for sale. Huh. This used to be a little ice cream parlor. Now it's a Smoky Mountain Jeep, 4x4s and more. And all these Jeeps are for sale. Yeah, price tags on them if you're looking for a Jeep. Yeah, a very cute little area here. I like that, it says fast service no matter how long it takes. Cool little diner slash gas station. Hours are from 7 to 3 p.m. 
Drink Royal Crown Cola. You, you really don't see too many of them Royal Crown Colas, do you? Now, a little while back, the Exxon station here uh, burnt down. All there's left is the, the pumps here. And the building is is gone. We used to stop here and get gas every now and then. Yeah. Good Vibes Restaurant. Yeah, I got some bike parking back here at Good Vibes. And you can sit on the river there and and eat. cool church here but I want to come over and check out this like Victorian home that is a really cool home I think they call that a witch's cap yeah probably definitely a private residence and I got the Mother Mary back here a little prayer garden beautiful oh, yeah. beautiful church though isn't it well, behind you. A little rosary garden. And then they have a little photo op. You can become a, a friar. <laughs> and we're here at the Little River Railroad Museum. Here's the old Shea engine. You used to take lumber out of the Great Smoky Mountains. And this is a free little museum you can go to. Uh, the hours are limited. I highly recommend everybody to stop if you're out here. And just take a look. And there's a little museum back there. And they take donations. But it's free. Oh. Oh, wow. They got the light working on the train, Don. You see that? Yeah. That is, that is real cool. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of work over here. They got some really cool stuff in that that barn there. But definitely worth a stop. The sun is setting just over there in the mountains. It's starting to get dark, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Think we'll make it back? I hope so. <laughs> we got lights and stuff. We do, we do. We'll be fine. Okay. The Heartland Little River Wedding Chapel. It's called the Abbey. I think it's been different little businesses over the years, but it's back to being a wedding chapel again. And we have been here many of times. The Townsend Swinging Bridge. Don, don't do that. I am. Come on, this thing really moves. You always got to swing everything, don't you? You in the swinging bridges. It's moving. Okay, don't, that, that's, don't, don't do that. Oh boy, this thing moves. <laughs> yeah. Are you having a swinging good time, Don? Hey, you got a, you got a fish. <laughs> I'm swinging it. What are you? Why, <laughs> why are you doing this? I don't, know. don't, don't, no, don't be jumping on the bridge. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so peaceful. 
out here and relaxing and taking in the, the sound and uh, and it's getting dark can't spend too much time <laughs> little candy bar place down there called the chocolate bar the trailhead steak and trout house we got a review in our library I highly recommend that for dinner that's a great place there and we stop at that IGA quite often that's where we that's where we get all of our treats right I really love this sign reminds me of route 66 docks on the river motel boy it's been beautifully restored yeah a cute old motor lodge here and definitely has that route 66 feel what what do you think about that dawn it, it's nice it is it is used to be bumper boats and go-karts down in there now they rent side-by-sides get your shine on get your shine on get your shine on the burger master sign is all lit up Can go for about a burger right about now. Yeah. So I have a total of 30 miles on my bike now. And we had a good a good ride today, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice long one and a lot to see. There's a few things we didn't stop to look at. We we'll have to come back and do this again. Of course we will. And the, the birds are going uh, cuckoo. <laughs> and they're going cuckoo for the cocoa puffs. You know they're they're Twitter pated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you got what 30 32 miles? Yep. On your bike, yeah, 32. And uh yeah, another nice evening bike ride here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And the national park is just just up the road. Don, you got helmet head. I know. <laughs> What a great ride to uh, Townsend. There's so much to do here, and when you slow down, you'll notice there's a lot more here to do and a lot more to see. There's a lot more motels and hotels I saw along the way, or some that are tucked behind others. And there's just a lot to do. You can spend all day here in the peaceful side of the Great Smoky Mountains. But folks, that's gonna do it for today. Here in the Great Smoky Mountains, if you guys like this vlog, give us two helmets up. <laughs> Give us a helmet up, guys. Uh, we love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>